Hello and welcome to another live feed. Anthony Samrov, international therapist and life coach. How was your day today? Not so good? Well, look on the bright side. It could have been a lot worse. It could have rained. You could have had a plane crash down on your head. There are starving in Africa and uh, well, you know, at least you didn't fall off your bike. So there's no reason to feel upset. What? You don't feel better? Um, well, you know, it wasn't your fault. You probably did the best you could. Um, in fact, this can turn into a positive experience if you just look at it differently. And, uh, you know, life's like that. You take the good with the bad. I mean, come on, you have so much to, th so much so much to be thankful for. Uh, look on the bright side. And it freaking drives people crazy, crazy, when they complain to you about something and you tell them to look on the bright side. And uh, the, the, yeah, it's pretty annoying. And what I want to talk to you about is what you can do instead. If you think that you know some people who would benefit from not bright-siding you. Bright-siding is a word that I invented for the phenomenon of telling people to look on the bright side or just think of things differently to try and get them to change their feelings. And the thing about I, that I really love about the term to bright-side someone uh, to don't bright side me. I've said it to friends before. The thing that I love about the term is that when I'm having a hard time and I tell someone about it and they try and correct my feelings and tell me to feel differently uh, or to look on the bright side and I say, don't bright side me. They know exactly what I mean when I tell them. And they, they go, oh, oh, sorry. And I've been in situations where I've uh, had people do that to me and I've told them not to bright side me and I've said, you know, even just saying, wow, that sucks, that's enough. But so if you think that this would be useful, please share it on your wall. Uh, the way that I get to speak to new people is by people like you sharing it on your wall. So if you would like to know the big secret, how you can console people without being a patronizing bastard, stay tuned. Okay, well, the first thing to realize is that once an uh, emotion is triggered, you can't make it go away just like that, just by, look, just by looking on the bright side. And um, you, the only really way to, to help someone is to meet them where they're at. You don't have to agree with the reaction. You might think they're being irrational. You, don't, you can save off on saying that for a while. You can just identify the emotion that they're feeling and uh, reflect it back to them. Wow, that sounds like you're really frustrated. You sound really angry about that. That's really disappointing. Oh, I'm sorry. It sounds like you're feeling upset. Um, now, if you can do that for someone, the chances are they'll respond to you with something like, well, yeah, I am because, and then they'll go into their explanation of why. And you don't really need to say very much at all. You can just go, really, no kidding. Hmm, how about that? Uh, I see, no fooling. You did? <laughs> wow, that sounds really rough. Now, uh, it might sound patronizing out of context, but it's a lot less patronizing than telling someone to look on the bright side or take the philosophical approach or that it might make them feel better or they might see things differently later. In fact, they will see things differently if you give them your attention. And again, you don't have to believe in any uh, wrong perceptions or overblown accounts of what happened, but you don't have to correct their account either. The fact is that if you can give people your attention and just validate their emotions by you accepting the emotion, that gives them the ability to accept the emotion and then the emotion gets processed and fizzles away. You see, when kids are young, one minute they are fighting with each other, the next minute they are laughing and their best friends Again, why is that? Well, because they accept their emotions. They accept their emotions and then they process those emotions and then there's no blockage. But uh, then we get told things, to, well, we get in situations where it's not um, appropriate 
to feel our emotions immediately and that's fine and you shouldn't be going into emotional outbursts at work or in front of the kids necessarily there's lots of situations where it's correct to put your emotions on pause and it's good that we have the ability to do that but they are not meant to be permanently on pause because all that happens is you end up feeling completely dead to life and there's a whole bunch of people going around that because they can't accept their negative emotions they can't experience any positive emotions either so that's why when someone gets angry and you tell them don't get angry they blow up because uh, you're just forcing them to push their emotions down and down and down until it's like a pressure valve and just like a kettle, it boils over. So don't bright side people. You don't have to accept their judgments of the situation, but what you can do is just acknowledge their emotions. And the very interesting thing is that what happens when you do this, usually each time you reflect back what you're hearing and what you can do is you can tell them what you've heard in one sentence. You can paraphrase, you can summarize what they've just told you in one sentence. So it sounds like tell them back what they've told you and they can go, yeah, exactly. Or they can go, no, it's not that, it's more like this. And you've still helped them, but because by telling them where they're not at, you've helped them locate where they are at. It's like a point on a radar. So you'll find that once you've done that two or three or four times, their emotion drops each time. And eventually, when the emotion has dropped completely, they will become more open to what you have to say. You can tell your own similar experiences, you might even give them your advice, they, they will be more likely to take the advice if you have taken the time to empathize. Please click the share button, pump that share button and share this on your wall. Uh, I rely upon you uh, a lot of people would like to do some good in the world where here is here is a completely free way to do some good in the world and that's send this video in a little Facebook message or post it up on your wall or post it up in a group to whoever you think would benefit from it. So hold off on telling your own stories, hold off on uh, sharing your own experiences or wisdom or telling the other person what to do. People hate being told what to do when they're emotional. But if you can empathize with them in the ways that I've suggested, when they're feeling better, they will cock their heads to the side and they'll become receptive to whatever you have to say. And they are more likely to take your sage wisdom on board. You, The best thing to do, uh, the secret really, is to drop the idea that you have to do something. You have to do something to fix someone else. Uh, you thinking you have to help them and solve their problem is an impediment to you helping them. Actually, you want to help them empower themselves to solve the problem. And you do that by reflecting back what you hear. It's a Jedi mind trick. Now, you may be amazed to know there is a whole playlist of videos on improving your communication skills on my YouTube channel. You just type Anthony Samroth into YouTube, you'll find my YouTube channel, and there's a playlist full of free videos on improving your communication skills. I would encourage you to feast at the all-you-can-eat buffet of free self-help material, including my last 11 live feeds, um, and use them to improve your life and to improve your relationships. And then I would like you, well, I think it would benefit you to save up your pennies for the personal development program that I spent eight months putting together to help people just like you improve their state of mind and become a lot happier in life. And you can find my course at beyourselfandloveit.com under the course tab. If you dedicate the time to doing the exercises on this course, I expect that you will see massive improvements in your state of mind, your relationship towards yourself. You'll know how to meet your own emotional and psychological needs better. You'll be more authentic in relationships. It'll be easier for you to take responsibility for your life. And the great thing is the course is guaranteed. That means if you buy the course and you do the exercises and you don't think it was worth that, I will refund every single penny you paid for the course, so you're under no risk if you take my course. One more time, please share this video. I rely upon you to do my work, which is to help people improve their lives and 
hopefully improve the whole world as a consequence of that. Thank you very much uh, and I look forward to seeing you next live feed.